Hey guys, it's Rosalind. Welcome back to Sunhaven. You realize looking at the day counter up there, it's day 25. <laughs> so I have been working hard to get some stuff for us to continue our journey. I've made us a little pin for our future chickies. I got us some chests to organize some stuff a little bit better. I've been growing and growing stuff like nobody's business. We've got new paths and lanterns. And I have been mining and leveling up like nobody's business. So here's what we have now. We are level 10 for exploration, level 9 for farming. Mining is level 10 as well. Combat is at 7. And fishing is at 4. So we're doing an okay job here. I've made us a whole bunch of keys for the mine. And I've gotten us something special, iron armor. So let's go ahead and equip that. Looks like we've got some stuff to water maybe. No, we don't actually we put that back. Yay. So let's go ahead and equip these and we can sell our old armor and make a quick buck. There we go. All right. So our attack and defense have now changed. Let's pop these in the market. We won't need those anymore. Okay. So last time we left off with Elios telling us that there is a darkness brewing and he gave us several different quests the mystery of Navari We have to figure out a way to get into the elven city to talk to Navara the world dragon to be able to get to Withergate to Be able to talk to the moon dragon Dinus who is trying to cover the world in an infinite darkness I made the mistake of feeding a snackoon east of Sunhaven over in the eastern woods so that one was taken care of. I believe it was apples and wheat, but we still have to do the one north of Sunhaven and head to the library. I've gotten us a chest here of stuff that we have to give people. And I do have some, some gifts started for some villagers. Can you, can you guess? <laughs> can you guess who? <laughs> I'll let you guess. I've been really working hard. 94 copper bars and gotten all the way down to like level 20 in the mine and started finding some um, adamant. We're definitely on the right track. We need to go feed a snack hoon. We need to go to the library, see what we can find out about some Navari culture. Elio said it maybe if we can find something about their history or culture, we might find a way into the city and that he wasn't aware of a way that we would be able to get in because it's heavily guarded. Maybe Amanda has a book that would be able to help us. We'll just forage on our way there. If you're on my Twitter, you saw that we got the two heart event with Bornhart. He sent us a honey glazed apple. Oh, and by the way, one of you guys wanted me to see if the honey glazed apple giving us health like stepwise or if it's reduced. So let's see, there's your answer. I wasn't looking at the right thing, so now I don't know. <laughs> I was like looking over here in the corner to see like plus blah blah blah, and instead it just changes your health, so I can't remember what the number was before. <laughs> okay, we need a book on Navari history, and I'm assuming we're gonna have to ask Amanda. Maybe Eve. You again, I hope I can interview you soon for an experience as a farmer. You could provide some useful information for my book. You're writing a book? I'm calling it the Worldly Compendium. It'll be a collection of, well, everything anybody knows about anything. Oh, sure, it'll be the biggest reference book to exist by far, but it's far work the worth. It's far worth the worth? <laughs> it's worth the work. Can you imagine all the information you needed in one place? It's never been done before. Yes, but I'm already halfway through this whole library. I hope there would be a grander selection, but I know Sunhaven has been in a rough patch. Boy, you're a fast worker. It's the nature of the work. It's also why I work alone, because nobody can keep up. Unfortunately, it also means I have to do all the work by myself. Well, she seems like one we would want to talk to, but maybe not. Maybe Amanda? Unless you need something from me, go ahead and grab a book. How many books have you read? I don't know. Probably equal to the number of head injuries you've had. You're rude! I don't like her. I don't like her at all. Let's see, maybe if we, oh, here we go. Elven culture is centered around artistic expression in many forms. Foremost is woodcraft. Elves are considered the most careful and skilled woodworkers to exist worldwide. 
Horticulture, the art of trimming and shaping plants, is also a celebrated form of expression. Elves have been known to paint symbols of cultural significance on their houses as well. These symbols can be sigils of health and peace, as well as low enchantments for protection and luck. The same symbols are carried over into their rich tradition of tattooing, which is a sign of spiritual maturity among elves. Hmm. Arts and expression. Anything else? Traditional nursery rhyme. Plant a seed inside your bed, grow a dream inside your head, sleep in soil rich and dark, stems coiled up in bedtime bark. Ooh, cultural values. Nature and harmony. Elven values are based on the teachings of the Navari's guardian dragon, Navara. Navara, also called the world dragon, teaches the power of peace and harmony with nature. Her connection with nature allows her to practice advanced magical abilities. Protective secrecy. Being the peaceful people they are, elves have historically been trusting of other cultures. But this trust, unfortunately, has led to catastrophe within Nalvari. In response, the elves have taken a position of secrecy, allowing only select guests to walk within the city's boundaries. The city itself is protected by an illusion that prevents potential foes from ever finding it. Our quest is updated. Search the Western Forest. So maybe we'll find something with a marked plant. So maybe a sigil on a tree or something along those lines. There's also a snackoon north of Sunhaven that I want to go ahead and feed and get that off our to-do list. And you'll see that the, we've got an additional quest down there. Ronald and Mari are from the tavern and they have a bet that I can't defeat some monsters. <laughs> we'll see what I can do here. We haven't come across any leafies yet, but I'm sure going north here and... Oh! Sir, what should we do about this big, ugly thing? It doesn't seem to be an immediate threat. Better to be safe than sorry, though. Keep an eye on it while I make a report. Yes, sir. Hi, Nathaniel. Rosalind, careful. There's a large monster blocking the road north. It's asleep right now, but who knows what it'll do when it wakes up. No worries. He's just a chunky lad. He's just a chunky lad. One handsome fella, here you go. Yay! All fixed. Problem solved. Holy moly, that beast has some appetite. You mean it's awake? Quick, we need to tell the captain. <laughs> it's just a snackoon, guys. You act like you've never seen a snackoon in your life. All right, so Withergate is to the north. Nalvari must be to the west. Elios told us to seek out Navara first before we go to Withergate, but I'm kind of curious to see what's up here. Just really click quick. Ooh, stuff to collect. Ooh, it's a shiny mushroom. Heck, mushroom, mushroom. New things. Also, these mushrooms I have learned are bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> I'll show you here in a hot second. We got a money bag, some berries, a manatome. Watch, watch, they're so bouncy. <laughs> Isn't that just fantastic? I love it. We'll gather all this stuff and see what's up here. I'm assuming we're gonna start seeing some monsters. Oh, just just more stuff to pick up. Okay. A peach tree and strawberry tree. Nice. And we've got a change in music as well. Here we go. Let's see what's over this way. Journey to Withergate, quest to, ooh. Ooh. Spooky, scary. So is this the darkness starting to encroach on Sunhaven? Get through the fog, oh. All right, I don't think we're ready for this, of course, but at least we know it's here. Boy, Elios was not joking about the whole eternal dark darkness thing. I don't know if this is, is it, does it hurt me? Okay, it's kind of like a lost forest situation. All right, let's go talk to Navara first. Let's see if we can get into the City of the Elves. Let's backtrack and we want to go west and see what we can find there because we're definitely not ready to face Dynas, that's for sure. They've maneuvered us over towards Kitty and Liam's place and we're ready to head west. What's gonna be out here? Oh, lots of things to, oh, there's another snackoon. Lots of things to collect. I totally thought it would be like instant monsters as soon as, as soon as I would, you know, 
be in here, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Let's see what this guy wants food-wise. One hungry boy -o. Oh, well, you know what? I've got the apples we need. What about mushrooms? We can go ahead and put what we have towards these amounts. Berries, we have enough. Blueberries, we have half. And mushrooms, we have half. So I might need to forage for a couple days here to get these other items. Five mushrooms and five blueberries. Maybe we'll even find them while we explore over here, but... Ooh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, leafy. Leafies. Okay. They're really cute. Oh. Okay. Also, I have mana. And I have a fireball. <laughs> fireball. Oh, there's a chest up there. I'm sorry, my dear leafies, but your chest is mine. Also, be careful of forest fires, friends. Lots of coins. Goodness. See, we started out on the eastern side and stuff was level three and level four. These leafies are level one. Why did they give me such hard, hard bosses on the other side? Goodness. I wonder if it's going to scale in difficulty like big time as soon as we go through here. Maybe. Oh, it's already eight o'clock. We have to be careful. Okay. More leafies. More chests to pick up. Mushrooms. Ooh, Senta Pillar. That's, that's, a, ooh, it's a level two. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. I love that there's new areas to find and, and look at and explore. I think we're going to have enough mushrooms. Yep, yeah, I just saw that we picked up five. Let's get rid of these leafies here. Our mana's doing pretty well, actually. What is that? A bug shell. It's just fun to do stuff that's new. Go away. Go away. Go away. I also love my fireball technique. I love not having to worry about that. Go away, Leafy. Go away. If I can aim, that would help. Aiming helps. <laughs> Pick up all these goodies. Level 11 exploration. Let's get our chest here. And this earth crystal. That's a gold for us. Let me jump down right here. Oh, I can one-shot them with the sword. Nice. What about the, the center pillar? Can I... Oh, two hits. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Oh, there's another chest down here. All right, it's already 9.50, which means I've got to roll back to the farm. Otherwise, we're going to be too late going home, and we're going to be in big trouble. I am going to go back to the farm, sleep, take care of any business at the farm, like watering crops, and then we'll come back and we'll keep exploring. Ah, oh, shoot, Mari, you were right again. Gotta be honest, Rosalind, I didn't think you had it in you. Maybe Lucia or Nathaniel, but not a farmer. You proved me wrong. Fair is fair. All right, we completed the Ronald and Mary's bet challenge. I'm gonna take the coins and we've got some skill points to spend. Exploration, we are level 11 now. We've got Hustle 2, Sapsucker, gain 8 mana when chopping down a tree. All, all sells, all sells fruit. All sells fruit for 75% more. Mushrooms and berries give 2 instead of 1. Ooh, you know what, I think I'm going to go for organic here. And then for farming, I might do leftovers. 10% chance to make a leftover second meal, which are great gifts. Ooh, you know what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. We haven't done a lot of cooking yet, but I feel like I don't have a lot of materials that I've saved up yet to do the cooking. So I'm starting to do that now as the things that we plant I'm starting to keep rather than sell. And I also wanted to come down here and go in the pet store and see if Bubbles is still here. The last time I checked, he was gone. Bubbles? Oh, okay. Not today. It's a puppy, a kitty, and a bunny today. So we'll have to keep looking. I just saw Bubbles at one time and I have not seen him since. We'll have to keep checking. Back to the west we will go now. And we've got to collect some blueberries for that snackoon. Ah, here's a blueberry tree. I think we're going to need a little bit more than three, though. I think we needed five. Maybe down here one of these is a blueberry, maybe? Yes! Okay, we got plenty. 
We've got plenty. We should be able to get rid of the snackoon that's blocking our way up north there then. Let's grab those and the last apple and head back over this way. All right, buddy. I've got your blueberries. Be handsome, fella. Let's give him the five. There we go. And he's gone. Oh, so much stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at all the goodies. I'm gonna take a second and get some of this wood, chop down these trees, get all of the fruit. All right, I've cleared it all out here. I wonder if there's any secret entrances back here. No? Maybe not. I'm not seeing any trees that specifically have like a sigil like we were reading at the library. So maybe we need to go farther west. Let's see. Did we go north last time? I can't remember. Ooh, we did not. Okay. Yeah, I would have remembered this. Uh, maybe I should hold on to my mana for stuff that's a little bit more scary. These leafy leaves I can I can take care of with a sword. So this seems to be a dead end as well. This must not be the way that we need to go. So let's backtrack here. We want to continue going west. Back down here to the western path. And continue where we were yesterday. All right, we are back to this area. I'm going to take a minute and get these trees that have silk on them at least. That way we can put those in our chest at home. But then we'll start making our way through even farther west and see what we can find. And just kind of gather materials as we go. I love the animations on the monsters. I think they're fantastic. And they're all unique. It's not just, oh, explode in a puff of smoke or something like that. I actually have like a little sit down or surprise animation, which is really cute. You can tell that they actually took the time to think about that for every single mob that we've come across or monster we've come across so far. We've got some stairs going north and we've got an area going west again. Let's see. Leafy up here. More north. Ooh, okay. More to gather. Cool. What a haul. Oh, <laughs> lots of wood, some silk, some crystals, more manatomes. Fantastic. Looks like we can still keep going, so I'm gonna continue north. No, it says no. So I'm assuming I must be missing something to be able to go that way. So maybe we've found the way we're supposed to go, but we don't have access, access to it yet because we haven't appeased the Nelvari. We haven't found a way to show that we're trustworthy. The only place we haven't gone is here all the way west. So I'm gonna make my way this way. More stuff to pick up, jeesh. Are the trees starting to change colors? I think they are, like this one's blue, oh my goodness. There's a chest. We're getting so many goodies. I don't know if I should cut that down, it's blue. Maybe it's special. If things are like glowing. What if we keep going? The mystery of the Nelvari. Oh, level seven, horn snake. Oh, what's our quest say? Find the entrance. So we are definitely on the ooh, arc bug. Those look terrifying. We are definitely on the right track here, guys. And I think we've we've definitely found the direction we need to be going. And there's so much stuff to pick up and to organize. And I'm it's already nine o'clock and I've got to get back to the house. So I'm going to have to come back another day and start this quest towards the entrance of the city of elves. It's been awesome to have you here with me today. I hope you're enjoying Sunhaven so far. We'll be back to hopefully gaining entrance to the city and meeting the world dragon in the very next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.